everyone, how's it going? So in case you're just joining us, hi, my name is Atisa, I'm a third year medical student and I'm making a video every day in the month of November. Now today's video is going to be a brief one and I want to talk to you about something that, you know, I don't think I've ever spoken about on this channel, at least not in great depth before. For any of you who are familiar with my background, you would know that prior to starting medicine, and I'm doing a graduate course at the moment, but prior to starting that, my first degree was actually in biomedical science from the University of Newcastle. And the undergraduate degree that I did was your standard three-year BSc in Biomed. But something that I haven't spoken about in great depth is that when I actually applied to go and study biomedical science at Newcastle, I didn't apply for the three-year course, I actually applied for the four-year course. Now, at the time that I was applying, the four-year course was called an MSci, or a Master of Science, and essentially it was a undergraduate BSc with a Master's, I guess, interwoven into it. And the format of that four-year course, it wasn't quite typical in the way that, okay, you do three years and then that's done, and then you do one year of Master's on top of it. But as I said, because the Master's element was kind of interwoven into the course, the way it worked is you would do the first two years of Biomed, and then in the third year, where you originally would have done your third year project, in which you would write up a dissertation, and that's what people on the three year undergraduate did, but instead of doing that project, you would do kind of like a smaller project or a dry lab project I want to say and then the year after you would sort of do another bigger project as well as some extra modules and extra teaching that you would take on so it wasn't quite clear-cut as I said it wasn't like right I've done my three years now I'm gonna do this extra master's year and also because of that when you graduated instead of getting a BSc plus let's say an MSci or like an MRes or something your entire degree qualification would be an MSci so you wouldn't get the BSc with it just the MSI. Now this is what I originally wanted to do because I thought it's great, you kind of get to do a degree and a master's in one, it's all in a four-year package, it's all like nicely incorporated, you have quite a bit of choice on as to which project you want to do, and also when you do this as part of like a four-year package, the advantage of it is that funding is covered, so you don't need to pay separately for the masters, you kind of essentially get everything together. So initially that sounded great to me and that's actually the course that I had applied to and gotten accepted into. Now when I actually started Biomed, I realised that you can switch your degree to anything else that you want, and what that meant basically is that the first two years will be the same, or the first one and a half years I should say, would be the same across all of these courses that I'm about to mention, and then the second year and a half would differ depending on which degree you're going to be graduating with. So for example, you could graduate with a straight biomedical science degree, you could graduate with physiology, microbiology, pharmacology, genetics, and all of these had the same course components at the beginning and then later you were divided into your groups. And the four-year masters was also one of those groups. And also, I've just remembered, this is something else that I haven't mentioned to you guys before, but in the midst of all of this, um, in the midst of me changing from like a four-year to the three-year course, I changed to physiology in between. I was having a little bit of a crisis as to what I'm going to do with my life, you know, what can I do with a biomed degree, you know, that age question, that age old question that all of us who go into biomed kind of have a little bit at the back of our minds. Of like, what am I going to do? What job prospects are there? So in the middle of panicking a little bit with all of that, I switched to physiology for, I want to say, a total of like three weeks. I did the official forms, I handed it into uni, I got approval from it, and then I realised that I think what would be best for me is to just switch to a three-year biomed and then do that. Now here was my main reason and I want you guys to be aware of this reason in case you find yourself in a similar situation. I want you guys to be informed because this is not something that I was necessarily informed on when I applied for the four-year biomed course. Now I thought that the masters that you get is equivalent to a masters that you would get separately. So I assumed that the four-year course including the masters will be equivalent um, to doing an undergrad and then the masters on top of it. But actually, when I was looking into the details, I realised that the four-year master's course has less credits, so the master's itself is worth less, I suppose, um, compared to going and doing a master's separately on top of your undergrad. I mean, in hindsight, it sort of makes perfect sense, because everything is kind of like,
like incorporated together but this is not something that I was aware of at the time and when it came to the point of me trying to make a decision about what I want to do my masters in and do I even want to do a masters do I want to go and work or whatever and um, I realized that what I would prefer to do is just to do my three-year biomed finish that chapter off and then later on decide if I want to go into a specific speciality and that's exactly what I did again for anybody who may be new here after finishing my biomed I went and did a master of research in translational cancer medicine at King's and the reason why I picked that master specifically is because that master's was essentially an entire 12 months in the lab there was no lecture based teaching components to it in that sense and that's exactly what I was looking for whereas if I had stuck to the four-year course then I think there would only be a six-month project and as I said because you're not doing the same undergraduate dissertation project you essentially get six months of lab work in the entire four years whereas for me personally doing an undergrad and I think doing maybe two months or something in the lab two or three months in the lab as part of my undergrad and then doing a master's where I've got 12 months in the lab that totals to 15 months of like pure lab work and that's not to include the summer projects that I did um, after my second year which was again another 10 weeks so I just want you guys to be aware of that because if you do want to do a separate masters or if you do want to spend as much time as you can in the lab which is what I wanted to do then be wary of the little specifics look into the credits that the three-year and the four-year masters have and something else I should mention as well is that I was having a little look at the variety of biomed courses that are available especially recently and you can find anything from three-year four-year and even five-year biomed courses and I want to make a specific and detailed video on those but if you guys have any questions about those leave them below so I can incorporate them into the next video but just to give you a little bit of a brief insight I've noticed that for example take the five-year biomed courses that are now, now being made available you can do all sorts of combinations so you could do your three-year standard BSc with an incorporated master's with an incorporated placement year so after the five years you will have like an MSI and you will have a year in placement similarly another five-year biomed course that I came across it included having one foundation year three years of biomed and an MSI or a foundation year three years of biomed and a year in placement so there are all sorts of weird and wonderful combinations and I want to make a specific video about that but I hope this video has at least gotten you to think a little bit about your options and to think a bit more about whether you want to go and do a four-year MSI course or whether you want to be SC but those were my reasons for switching from the fourth year to the three year or from the four year course to the three year course so I will leave it there and I will see you in tomorrow's video